Hey guys, so after forever of waiting, I I want to say a few weeks, um, more than two. Yeah, it's been more than two since I placed an order with Notoriously Morbid. I finally received it in the mail two days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the colors, do some swatches, and I will let you know price points. Um, I have my invoice here. Uh, I will obviously link them down below so you can check them out at notoriouslymorbid.com. Go to me. Cover up my info. Um, but let's just get into this. Let's get started. Um, as always, with these loose shadows, I will be swatching them wet. I am swatching them with rubbing alcohol today. My makeup eraser is in the washer, which I have never done before but it was getting kind of stained up and I wanted to actually throw it in the washer instead of hand washing it this time. So we are not using that today. I'm just using a damp cloth with um, some rubbing alcohol on there to wet wet it up and it won't ruin my shadows in any way. If anything it'll sanitize them. So let me pull out this one is my free sample. That's the free sample. And I'm gonna go through these and I will let you know the prices because some of them, some of them were in jars, two of them were in their jars and I moved the others, three of them were in their jars and I moved the others into my own jars. But let's get into this. Um, my free sample is called Teacher in Tweed. And it is like a brownish green tweed color. So let me swatch it. It's a matte. And this is probably something I would use as an outer corner or a transition color. Depending on like what I'm basing my look on. Okay, that's what that looks like. That's teacher and tweet, and that was my free sample. Um I did get two lip products this time too, and that's my first time getting lip products with them. Um, I got Billy Whack. The label is kind of worn. It is a light pink color with like a golden shimmer. Make sure my brush is really clean. This is a much lighter color. We don't want to mess up the swatch. Okay, that is really, really pretty, like foiled. It is definitely like a rose gold. It's Showing up really light and frosty, but when it's it's a deeper pink for sure when you foil it. That is really pretty. Um, the reason I swatch these wet are so you can see them better, and that is how I use them. Um, I will foil them or use adhesive so that you get the best color payoff in case you've never seen any of these videos before. This is Chaos Rains. It is a pretty violety blue color with some green sparkles in there, like some turquoise aqua green sparkles. Okay, and it gets really dark when you foil it. Like really dark, and I see some brown undertones in there, and that is really pretty. It definitely loses a lot of the purple. You can see how sparkly it is. Um, and it goes you can still see some of the purple, but it, it turns more blue with brown undertones, brownish red undertones. So that is really pretty. I do like that. Oh, I'm not even giving you prices. Look at me go. Billy Whack was $125. Chaos Reigns was also $1.25. Gypsy Curse is $1.25, which is what I'm about to show you. Gypsy Curse. This is, I don't know how well this is going to swatch wet. It is a matte medium brown color. Um, it does have a lot of gray undertones, and this is really good for transition. It, it does look pretty good. It's a lot darker foiled. This one I probably wouldn't foil um, just because I'd probably go into my crease as a transition color to help blend out other colors. So, but there, maybe one day I will foil it out. And wear it on my lid and do something crazy. Um, this is Bigfoot, which is a dollar twenty-five as well. 
And I will wait to swatch this before I give the description because, and that's another thing, I like foiling because more of the sparkle and the colors come out that you can't just see. They're like hidden when it's dry. And you can see them so much better when they are foiled and wet. And this one's really pretty. It's like a silvery gray, but it has like this crazy pink, pinkish purple shimmer to it right there. Oh, I wish it would let you. It's like got a super pink, it's like a duochrome when it's foiled, but it's not popping up. It's definitely duochrome-y, and I really like that. <clears throat> okay, so then we have... This one is a full size. I believe they were discontinuing it. It's called the Honey Island Swamp Monster, and it was only two seventy five for. This is a third of a teaspoon, but I believe this is a full size. I mean, it came in a jar. Which is not bad. So, whoa. Foil, this sucker is dark. And it's a dark gray with some purpley pinks kind of going on in there, but I mean that got really dark really fast when it's wet. Um, otherwise, I mean it's really light in the jar and it looks kind of frosty in there. Okay. Move on to the second sheet. So this one is the color of the month. And it was five fifty for the full size, and it's creeping green moth, and it's like just that medium kind of like yellow mossy green. Hence the name. It's definitely got the yellow tones to it. I like it. I think it's very pretty. This jar is really full. So $5.50 for this is not at all bad. The last one we have is Nearly Headless Nick. It's in a three gram jar and it is $2.75. This one. I think I was shopping on their clearance section. Maybe, because I feel like. So when this one's foiled, it has a lot of pinks and some brown and definitely a gold shimmer to it. Ah, I really like that one foiled. It's kind of boring just plain in the jar, but I really like that foiled. Okay, let me clean these off because I want to do the lip swatch, the lip colors for you. Now the lip colors were a little more expensive. But I was it was just so pretty I couldn't pass it up. So here's how this works. Um I need a lip brush. Okay. So they have these liquid lipsticks and they looked beautiful, but they also have like these top coats with the iridescent colors. And they'll show you the top coat and then they'll tell you which liquid lipstick they put it over. And I really liked the combination that these two gave because it's a green, like a, a, a emeraldy forest green. Um, but you, the top coat doesn't look very good alone, but you could use this with any dark color, like a dark blue or a dark green or a black, and transform it into a whole other color. Now we will talk about this liquid lipstick. This is the... Mystic Matte Liquid Lipstick in Rune, which is the black. It is $12, which really is really good for a liquid lipstick. This one does not dry all the way down like to smudge proof. It's not smudge proof. It dries all the way down to a flat matte. Because, I mean, like, this shit is, like, straight up liquid. One peeve I have about this is the stopper does not really let you get... it. it it's one of those flat wands and it's real thin and the stopper is too big, so you pull too much product out. But I am going to wipe some of this off. I'm going to do two swatches so that you can see 
one with the top coat and one without. And, but I need to let it dry. And it does take a second for it to dry, but I mean, look at that. That's just one swipe and it's like that, but I, I kind of made it a bigger patch. So I went over it, but it's one swipe, it's pitch black. You do need to like, get like a black uh, eyeliner and line your lips because this is so difficult to work with. Um, at least for me, because it is such a dark color and I was trying to like line them with this wand or use a brush. But so they're really shiny right now and it's gonna dry down completely flat. And then this is the notoriously morbid, notoriously morbid, uh, challenging top coat is what they're calling them. They're in these little tubes, which are 3.5 milliliters. And they're eight dollars so for this little thing it is kind of expensive but it's pretty much just like that iridescent mica that you can get from like tkb trading in their liquid lipstick formula excuse me formula um it does do the same thing where it dries down to a like a matte but it's like the shimmer is all up in there but it does dry down but it is not kiss proof and smudge proof again so I'm kind of trying to let this lip, liquid lipstick dry down. It did take a while, but it did dry down. Now, because the black does not dry, you know, smudge proof, I was an idiot and I went ahead and slipped this on right after because I didn't realize it didn't dry down smudge proof. And then I had gotten my uh, brush blackened, so I had to clean it off. So. I will swatch this on the back of my hand with the brush, but when I swatch over the black, I'm going to use a lip brush because that is um, how you're going to want to apply it is with a lip brush. Um, just kind of grab some product, put it on the back of your hand, and then just use your lip brush from there because you do not want to touch a lip brush that has black on it back onto the wand. You're going to contaminate this and you don't want to turn this black. It'll completely change it. And this one has like green and like a pinkish orange shimmer to it. When it's over the black, it shows the green more than anything. But I'm guessing if you put it over like a pink or an orange, that orange shimmer in it will really pop. So let me swatch this one right here. And this looks really, really funky. Like if you just have it by yourself. On me anyways. I mean, if you like it, do you. But on my lips, because you have those pink undertones in your lips, it just looks by itself it's like see-through and funky and it is right there and it's not coming across the way i wish it would there you go you can kind of see there's some of the orangey shift to it Let's see if i can i don't know if you can see some of the orange and then some of the green so these swatches are drying down they're still not completely dried down i'm telling you it took a little bit but it did stay on for a really, really long time. And it doesn't give you like that color pop, like super dry feeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this and make a little like cuddle on the back of my hand and take a lip brush. So use my little cuddle, if you will. And I'm going to kind of pat it on because I don't want to like move the black around and smudge it up too much and cover I don't want to cover up any of this color now on here on my hand it's looking kind of like a golden olivey green when I had it on my lips it looked like a straight up hunter green but as you can see as I re-dip into that little puddle that I had it started to turn black because of the brush and that is what it looks like it completely changes it it I wish the camera was picking it up a little bit better but i think it's a really gorgeous and this will go completely matte but it's going to take a little while and i'm not going to sit here all day waiting for it to um but this is i really like the way that it, it changes things so for eight dollars i mean you're not going to use this one all the time i probably won't use the black all the time either but i'm very interested in their other colors i know they're not like the kiss proof but they dry down matte and i really like the formula 
once you get working with it and you get it figured out, it's really not that bad. But, ooh, this rubbing alcohol on this cloth is a little strong. I just burn my, burn my lungs up. Um, once you get working with it, it's not so bad. And it does just come off like regular with just a paper towel. You don't even have to wet it if you don't want to. Um, it did leave a little black behind as it's doing right now. And I have other swatches I've got to do. Okay. But it, it's not too bad. It'll wear throughout the day. Um, just be careful. If you're going to put another gloss over the black or whatever, just be aware that it is going to ruin your other glosses if you're using the same wand. I would always use a lip brush with this product. Um, just because if you're put, I mean, with any other product you're going to put on there. And I'm, I'm going to go to using a lip brush with this because the wand was just, it was kind of hard to use because it is so liquidy. Um, but again, it's easier to fix. If you do go outside your line, you just take a little Q-tip and like wipe it real good and straighten it up. And it does, you know, wipe off in an easy, you know, amount. I would not leave this tipped on the side um, because it is so liquidy. I am afraid that it'll leak out because the stopper is just really, it has a really wide hole on it. But for 12 bucks, that's really cheap for a liquid lipstick. And I really like this one. I mean, it's so pigmented that it's insane. Like, I really like this. So I'm interested in some of the other colors that they have. Um, so obviously I'm not going to be buying anything anytime soon, but just keep in mind. So that is it for Notoriously Morbid. I will leave the link down below and I will see you guys later.